Keith, how would you say this camp has gone so far for you? Uh, this camp's been great. Um, it's been great to be back here in New Orleans. Um, I've been, I feel like I've been putting in a lot of work tremendously in the sense of getting my body healthy because, you know, over the years I've had a lot of injuries. Um, I think each year, each year I've been in the NFL, I had an injury. Um, but I'm super fortunate and blessed to be back here year six. I think I've had a great camp so far. I'm excited to see where this team goes. You've spoken about kind of assuming a, a little bit of a leadership role for some of the younger guys. How's that process been for you so far? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, I'd say from being here at, in 2018 as a freshman, to now being kind of a leader in the room, one of the oldest guys in the room, especially the receiver room um, and on the team. Uh, it's, it's just a great, great feeling. And I think uh, guys kind of follow around me, me being one of the guys that's first in the building and last to leave, um, just seeing my kind of development over the years and how it's been uh, carrying over to some of these young guys and, and them following me as a leader. So it's been great, man. I'm super excited to see what happens this year. What have you taken from one of the young guys, Shaq Davis, that you've seen so far? Uh, I think he has a lot of uh, great tendencies. You know, he has a, a big body, catch radius, kind of similar to Marcus Colston. Um, very intelligent guy. Um, I think he has uh, tremendous strides to go. He has a lot of things that he needs to work on. But I definitely can see him somebody that can tr contribute to this team. Keith, how do you feel you fit here in this training camp? There's always competition, obviously. But yeah. How do you feel you fit and where you stacked up? Uh, I feel pretty confident. Um, I'm just, wh wherever my role is to be on this team, uh, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability to help this team win. Um, I'm not too sure where that is right now, um, but I think I'm pretty confident knowing the system uh, over the years and having a, a, a step ahead, a, a, a better edge than most of the guys here. But at the same time, being somebody that they can use as a, a sponge to be able to absorb as much information, not only to help myself, but to help the guys around me. So I think, uh, especially within the system, I think I have a, a, an advantage, but also a way to help guys uh, get better on this offense. Keith, with all the quarterbacks that have thrown you past as well, how would you compare like where Derek Carr's at, like mm. Drew Brees, yeah. guys, a lot of experience, but just uh, talk about that. I've been around a lot of quarterbacks, and one thing I love about Derek uh, is kind of uh, similar to Drew, his attention to detail. Um, me and him have been working since OTAs. Uh, we would come here at 6.30 in the morning. Before we would start our lifts, me and him would kind of talk through the offense and, and what to look forward to this season, not knowing if I was going to be a starter, if I was going to be coming off the bench, whatever my role was, but to be able to have that kind of leadership and attention to detail from a quarterback like Derek, I only see tremendous strides for him and also just to be able to take us to where we need to go this year. So I'm excited to play for him and what he has to uh, look, uh, offer to this team. You would be your early impressions about Jake Haynes. Oh, Jake, man. Jake is unbelievable. Um, he's a short quarterback, but I tell you, he can throw that ball. Um, his, uh, again, just like Derek, being able to follow a guy like Derek, his attention to detail is unbelievable. And having Jameis Winston there in the room as well. Um, he's been phenomenal this camp. And I'm super excited to see what he does in this preseason. What about the wide receiver room? Is it maybe a little deeper than the last time you were here? Yeah, uh, I think I think every year, to be honest, that, that every receiver room in the, in, the, in the league has depth. I mean, we're here in the National Football League, so you can definitely say that there's talent everywhere. Um, but here with the New Orleans Saints, I think we have a great group. I think any any guy in this room can play for us and, and, and help us contribute to win. So. I think our group is, is a phenomenal group. It's very competitive, and I'm super excited to see uh, who's going to be standing last. But no matter what, um, each and every guy on this team has a, a contribution to help us win. What do you like about being here? I mean, from yeah. coming back, like, like what is special for you about 100%. this place or this organization or whatever? I think the camaraderie, the culture that's here. Um, I think from leaving and going to Carolina and seeing a different kind of uh, chemistry and, and, and team camaraderie there is completely different than here feels like family. Um, I feel like I'm back in college. You go in the locker room and guys are excited, excited to come to work instead of guys being in our own little groups and, and staying away from the team. Here it feels like a family. And that's what's so special about New Orleans Saints. And it carries over to the fans as well. You can see how much the fans care about this team. And so does the players care about winning to try to make the fans as happy as possible. So what I love about being here is just, just the camaraderie and familyness that I'm always feeling that when I come here. So. Do you think that's unique to you, or do you think other guys feel that too? I think every single guy in this room feels it, or this team does. Um, you can see how much fun we have when you win. It's not just a win, and then we go home to our families. Guys celebrate. They stick together. Um, it's, it's a brotherhood, and I think we all play off each other. We go to battle every single day, and it's not just for us to go out there and because we have a job. 100% we have to get our job done, but we play together as a family, and that's what I love here. You think oftentimes we think about growth and development for like first, second year guys, but where do you feel like maybe you've taken steps coming into this offseason? Um, I'd say each and every day that I come into the to, to this job, I look to get better, whatever whatever it is. If I watch film and maybe my first step is off of, of uh, my get off on a route, I'm trying to get better at that. 
So I think every single day I find something to get better at, and, I, and I'm never going to stop chasing that because no one's perfect. Um, so each and every day I attack this job or whatever, whatever it is in life, I'm going to try to get 1% better at that. So I think I've definitely made tremendous strides over the year, and I think I'm going to do whatever I can this year to help this team win. Is that same kind of approach, the advice maybe you give to some of the other guys that don't focus too much on trying to make a leap in one place, focus on where yeah. you can do it each day? Yeah, I was kind of talking with Shaq about that the other day. And, and sometimes it, you can get clustered. Your, your head can get so mind boggled with all of the information that's thrown at you. But if you take it one day at a time and take a deep breath as you step into that huddle, that huddle, everything else to take care of itself. So it's about staying calm and, and at the end of the day, focusing on something to get better at each and every day. Yes, sir.